21-year-old Tania Ruiz Calindo is a senior MIS major who puts salt in almost everything she consumes. Drums, me and my brother and I are always like fighting over the salt shaker. I think it's just because we grew up that way. Tania, along with many college students, tend to consume foods with an excess amount of sodium. Experts say that even though they're young, they're increasing their chances of developing heart disease and hypertension. Dr. Kenneth Sean is a cardiologist and former president of the American Heart Association. People ought to try to reduce their total salt intake to about 1,500 milligrams of sodium chloride a day. And to do that, you really need to take a look at the packages of the food you buy and see how much salt's in them. About 77% of the sodium we consume comes from packaged, prepared, and restaurant foods. Lydia Steinman, registered dietitian and lecturer, says a lot of students consume around 3,500 milligrams of sodium a day. Your processed foods like chips, you know, salty snacks are going to consume, uh, they're going to provide a lot of sodium. And a lot of canned foods actually do, like canned meats, canned vegetables. I know a lot of students, young adults, eat from cans because they're cheaper and they're easy to, to uh, prepare. Want to reduce your daily intake of sodium? This is what to get and what not to get at your local grocery store. While some students may cook with less salt at home, it's a different story when they're looking for a quick bite. But then really when I'm on campus and I'm in between classes and I need to grab a quick bite, I either go to Wendy's or O's Cafe. Steinman says to live a longer and healthier life, you have to change your eating habits. Yes, it is something that as a 21-year-old I have to start changing because whatever I do now will affect me in the future and I really want to be healthy when I'm older. Melissa Mendoza, Texas News Watch.